Greetings, all of you fellow Truvis collectors and other golf ball enthusiasts. Steets here, coming at you again with All About Truvis number 19. And today I've got eight new balls to show you. Uh, today's episode is sponsored by Phil. And when I say Phil, I mean Phil R and Phil B. A huge thank you for providing me with the balls today. Uh, really appreciate it. And thank you for getting them in time so I could do another episode of All About Truvis. Now, I've just gone through the eight that I've had delivered and three of them are mystery balls. So all of you eagle eyes out there, if you can identify any of the balls that are, I'm unsure of, please stick it down there in the comments and I'd really appreciate it. So... A few of the balls um, that have come through over the last couple of days are ones that I've had before and I've used to trade and never replaced. I've talked about this in some detail before, but let me start you off with the English flag. Really, really straightforward St George's flag without the pent. It is one of, if not the most common ball around um, at the moment. It's just everywhere and you can get dozens of them. They're not particularly expensive, but I'm going to bring this up with the next two balls because I still think that these kind of balls won't be reprinted. I think they were a bit of a gimmick. Uh, I think they, you know, put them by the till, people would pick them up, but they're not, in my opinion, not, they're not a great Truvers. They, you know, they follow the, you know, the rules, but they're not particularly great. But what I do think is I think that this kind of thing won't be put into production again. So the further we get, collecting and the years that pass and the insane flooding of the marketplace of all these new Truvis, it's the older ones that are going to become more and more rare. So yeah, you can pick up these now, but hold that thought. Second one goes really nicely, which is the Scotland salt Saltire flag. And it's exactly the same design, just a different flag. Uh, again, I think I see more of these, if anything. Um, I see people selling used ones in the, by the dozen. They are not hard to get hold of now. But again, hold that thought. Which brings me on to this ball. Now, this is the Sweden ball. And it is a light blue and a yellow echoing the Swedish flag. Now, as I've said, the two balls before were retail balls you could see them everywhere right now you could go onto ebay or amazon and probably buy a dozen for about 20 quid and that was the case with this ball a year ago uh they were everywhere they were on uh, ebay amazon american golf you needed them you could buy them uh, i bought a dozen um i think it was april or may last year pocketed one sold the 11 traded the 11 whatever and it was really great. You know, collectors got what they wanted. I paid for this ball and then managed to buy some new balls. Can you find them now? Not a chance. Unless you can speak really good Swedish and have a Swedish address, I don't think you could pick up a dozen of these. I don't even think you could find a sleeve of them. And that is exactly what I'm saying with balls like this. Eventually, people are going to be buying them by the dozen and using them to either practice with or play rounds with. And the amount of mint ones is going to go down and down. Uh, I'm still convinced that the more Trevers we see out in the market, the more collectors we're going to get. And then with the more collectors, the more of the mint ones are going to be absorbed into collections. So I think we're going to find it hard. And the reason why is because of the Sweden ball, because a year ago you'd fall over them. Now you cannot find them. This is a really nice ball. I really like this one. I'm so glad to have it in my collection again. 
The fourth one is one that is generating a lot of interest, especially in the US, um, rightfully so. It is the Chick Fil A ball. So the chicken logo. And I really like this design. It pops out. Again, I always talk about the shelves that I'm one day going to have. Um, and this is the kind of ball that is going to draw people's eye. Just a really, really simple design pops out at you. And they seem to be going for a pretty penny over uh, over in the US. So huge thank you to uh, Phil for not driving the price up. Um, as we always say, collectors look after each other. Um, you know me, I'm not going to oversell my balls um, because I want people to be able to collect them all. That's never going to happen. I'd like people to collect as many as they possibly can. But the Chick-fil-A ball um, is selling for, um, you know, $20, $30, $40 in the US at the moment. Whether dozens become available and that price goes down or they only did one batch for a corporate event, we don't know, but at the moment, it's fetching some good money. Uh, another one that I got from Phil R is this mystery ball. And it's simply a crest or a shield with two golf balls. I think they're golf balls. And three anchors in blue with the number 1926. As I've said before, I always like the blue and white ones. They always stand out to me. I don't know whether it's because my, my favourite colour is blue, but I really, really like the, the, the blue ones on a white background. And this one is a really nice ball, and I'm really pleased to have it. Next one is a, another mystery ball. And it is a... I think it's an oak leaf, but the, you, could, you could argue against that. But it's in gold on a plain background. Now, I've talked about gold balls in the past and the majority of them get lost in the white. The, the best one I can think of is the, uh, the one in a circle with a golf flag and a golf green. You can't see it from five foot away, but this one does hold up. You can see that it's a leaf. You can see it from a distance. It is a shiny gold, not like one of those kind of uh, duller golds that you see uh, for an, um, a ball that I really want at the moment is the uh, India Creek one. Uh, that's quite a dull gold, but this is a this is a shiny gold one, and it's a nice one to put in the collection. Um, the final two are from Phil B. You've been an absolute legend helping me out with these. We are sad to see you stop and collecting Truvis, but I'm quite pleased that I'm a recipient of some of your collection. And I have a sneaky suspicion that you won't be able to ditch the addiction that easy because I think you've already got some more on the way. This one is the Butler National from Illinois. And it's golf flag on a green in um, in green with the number 1972. Uh, there are a large amount of green balls and I think they're all going to look great when they're up on those shelves. Um, not seen this one before. Um, obviously there's thousands so I'm never going to see all of them but every week you see an all about Trubitz and I get some more. You know I've got to be topping 350 maybe 370 now. If I col keep collecting at the rate that I'm going hopefully you know, I mean, well, let's put it this way. This time last year, I think I had 50 and now I've got 350. So, yeah, 300 a year. I'll top a thousand, you know, by the end of 2023. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have more than that by 2023. But there you go. Butler National from Illinois. And the last one is another mystery one. Um, I didn't think this was a mystery one, but I've tried to identify it and I've not had any luck. It's this one, this little jaunty golfer on a green background. And I thought that I saw uh, what it was, but it turned out to be a similar golfer, but not the same. But I really like this one. Um, it is a different one for the collection, Sim similar to the green no laying up ball where the, the golf is standing like that. Uh, but this one's more of a kind of a punching in the air with a kind of flared trouser. Cheers. 
so that's the eight balls for today. As I said, huge thank you to Phil B and Phil R. Um, I'm hoping to have some more uh, on their way next week. I'll be honest, I've had to kind of harness in uh, my addiction somewhat over the last couple of weeks because I really overspent last month and I literally don't have any money at all. I'm going up to Scotland next week. I would like to get a round of golfing, um, but because I keep spending on Trubus, I just don't have any money ever. As I said, my disposable income is about £50 a month, and if I kept going the way that I was going, my next 10 paychecks would be going on Truvis and you know I'm just spending before I even get the money so if you are one of the people that supply me thank you so much I really appreciate you don't stop but if you could just remain patient with me I know I'm a pain in the ass already and I'm just gonna get a little bit worse but you know that I really appreciate everything you do for me so that's eight new balls for this time um, as I said, I'm going up to Scotland next week, so hopefully I'm going to pick up some that I can use for trades. Um, Jamie, if you're watching, I'm definitely going to grab you some because you've got some for me that are really interested in. Uh, but that is it for me. Any comments, please put them down below. And as always, if you've got any ideas for some future All About Truvers, I'd be really interested to uh, hear what you've got to hear. And I'm going to start doing this every time. If you work in Callaway and you think there is any way that you can add value to my show, I would really appreciate to hear from you because I'm never going to get hundreds of subscribers. I know that. But it would be really nice if I could have a contact or two that I could discuss, you know, maybe what's coming out in the future or the technology behind the ball or how the ball's made, you know, or how it goes from the drawing board to actually ending up in shops. You know, anything like that, I'd really like to be able to give uh, my viewers just something a little bit different than me flaunting my wares for the week. But anyway, that's great. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed the, the video, hit a like and I will see you next time. Bye bye.